the BlackBerry uh, 10 operating system and the Z10 device is a big advance for uh, research in motion. They actually changed its name today to BlackBerry as well. Uh, but you know whether or not it actually takes uh, uh, BlackBerry out ahead of uh, uh, the competition, particularly the iPhone and the Galaxy uh, family from Samsung, is a debatable point. Here, by way of example, uh, is the uh, BlackBerry handset on the right and the Apple iPhone 5 on the left. As you see, they're actually quite similar sized, although the screen on the BlackBerry device is slightly larger. It's actually 4.2 inches and it's quite a bit thinner, as you can also see. Uh, overall, I think uh, that the BlackBerry device has done a really good job in uh, playing catch up to its rivals, but hasn't necessarily gone much, uh, much ahead of them. Uh, here is another device. It's actually, it, it's one of the uh, uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy family. This is actually the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note, which has uh, the Android operating system. And again, some of the features that, that uh, RIM has built into this uh, new operating system are very similar to uh, those that already exist in Android. But in terms of research in motion, this is a big advance. I also wanted to show you the oh, old go, go. BlackBerry oh, platform. This is the old BlackBerry flagship device, runs an operating system called BlackBerry OS 7. Uh, it's called the BlackBerry Bold and it does have a touchscreen, but as you see, it's fairly small. And frankly, there have been a lot of uh, complaints about the slowness of the browser. And uh, generally, it really hasn't uh, kept pace with the advances that both Apple and uh, Google's Android partners have made in their, uh, in their devices and operating systems. Most analysts that I've spoken to think that BlackBerry has done a really great job with this new operating system and the design of the new devices. However, they're not convinced that it takes res uh, that research in motion now called BlackBerry uh, that much further ahead, if at all, of Apple and, for example, Samsung. Uh, they see it more as a catch-up play, which will probably appeal uh, to many existing BlackBerry users, but they're much more doubtful about whether it will attract back any users, BlackBerry users, who've actually defected to other operating systems, or indeed attract new users to the BlackBerry platform as a whole.